Dr. Artie Angers from the Wellness Chiropractor. Today I want to show you and talk to you about lower back pain and hip pain. Very common in our society. People sit at a desk at a computer all day, the stresses of life, carrying a little bit of extra weight, poor posture, lots of things that create lower back hip pain and leg pain. Commonly called sciatica, disc problems, scoliosis. So we use what's called trigger point therapy. Very gentle releases of the muscle where I go in and apply pressure to the muscles here of the spine and release that. Then basically go into the hip muscles here. And this is a quick inversion, but of areas that we're going to stimulate. The gluteal muscles are very important. The muscle called the piriformis that really has a major effect upon lower back, hip and leg problems. Then these key muscles here, the hamstrings and calves, we want to release the tension here. Same thing on the other side, based on what I find, I'm going to release that. Then there's what's called the IT band, which is the muscle out here. That generally gets very tight in relationship to lower back and hip problems. So we just want to loosen that up. And the same thing in through here, checking for asymmetries, imbalances, and areas of tightness. So after we've done that, we'd actually do some therapy where we use some electrical muscle stim that we would apply to these muscles, some heat, and then I allow the patient to relax for eight or 10 minutes. It's a form of meditative type of treatment where the mind and the body relaxes, allows the muscles to start to heal and let go. After we finish with that, we then turn the patient on their back, so they have each other on your back. And there are muscles here in the front called the hip flexors, where they flex the hip we want to release the tension in those muscles here, the quadriceps. And since so many people do sit at a computer all day, we're seated in this folded position that puts a lot of pressure right through here. So we're going to release that, going to the shins, the, what I call the tibial muscles in through here. If she didn't have her boots on, we would even do some trigger point release of her feet. So the whole goal is to try to release the tension manually as best we can. Then after we've done that, we can go over exercises, stretches, core strengthening, and posture. In our next video, we're gonna talk about that. Various stretches for you to do. But this is an idea of what we do to help alleviate not only pain, but restore balance, alignment, and flexibility. Thank you very much.